how might your work actually be applied to impact vector control for other diseases or also beyond that to other health issues or even socioeconomic issues that might benefit from having women be more a part of the mm -hmm. discussion? I think from the research that we've done, um, we have heard from a lot of the participants that women are viewed as more trustworthy in, com in communities um, and accountable for resources and other aspects of community life. Um, and that helps with the community buy-in. So I think by having women participate, you've got the community ready to go right from the outset. Um, they're better communicators. They um, and I think that would help with new interventions, for example, coming into an area, because it would increase the visibility of any of the proposed programs, because they're able to communicate so much better. Uh, and this is from men and women we're hearing this type of, <laughs> this is not just women. Um, and I think that women also uh, act as agents of change, um, that by prioritizing and improving overall community health uh, when they're involved in any aspect mm -hmm. of this type of work. Yeah, and I think, I think some of the other things that we found were that women are already working together to try and overcome poverty. So one of the neat examples that we um, found out in, in Kenya that women do is called table banking. And so they get together, they sort of self-organize, and um, each woman puts a little bit of money into a pot. And then that bigger pot gets given to a woman to start a business, to start a chicken business, to start um, you know, some other small micro enterprise. And then she pays that loan back to the collective and then it goes to another woman. And I think that with some of these vector control strategies that we've talked about, we could see that there could be micro enterprise. And that's something that women were really enthusiastic about. They were enthusiastic about potentially you know, sewing um, insecticide treated um, impregnated clothing, um, uniforms for kids, and, and being able to sell those. Or uh, we, had, we had originally had this idea of, of the bed nets and taking old bed nets and turning them into curtains and having a microenterprise there. Or if the spatial repellent becomes something that is um, approved and, and used more widely, it could be selling spatial repellent. So I think there's, there's a lot of different ways that you have this intersection of, of vector control and, and, and poverty. And, and sort of tapping into those existing infrastructures that they already have could really be successful in, in helping promote this, not just from a reduction in vector point of view, but right. from a, a woman's economic standing point mm -hmm. of view as well.